This method can help answer key questions in the field of immunosuppressive therapeutic intervention for studying the adverse effects of drugs on tissue regeneration, in particular in bones. The main advantage of this technique is that it combines fast models of zebrafish bone regeneration with systemic drug exposure by immersion of the injured zebrafish in drug-supplemented fish water. Before beginning the procedure, Autoclave 1 aluminum foil covered 600 milliliter beaker per zebrafish and an appropriate number of glass bottles of fish water for the experiment and prepare the immunosuppressive drug in experimental control solutions of interest. For an amputation injury, use blunt forceps to carefully place an anesthetized zebrafish on its lateral side on the inverse lid of a 100 millimeter petri dish and use a scalpel to resect 50% of the fin. Then place the fish into an autoclaved beaker containing 300 milliliters of fish water supplemented with the appropriate experimental agent and cover the beaker with foil to prevent zebrafish escape. To induce a fin fracture injury, place an anesthetized zebrafish on its lateral side in a 100 millimeter agarose coated petri dish under a dissecting microscope and push an injection needle slightly into a bony fin ray segment until a crack appears. It is important to introduce not too many fractures into the fin because this might greatly impair stability. Then transfer the fish into an autoclaved beaker containing 300 milliliters of fish water.